Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. Today I'm sharing with you a classic what I eat in a day as a vegan video and as you may know by now I do eat intuitively so this isn't a representation of what I eat in a week or a month or a year. It is simply what I eat in a day and it changes from day to day. I hope this video provides you with some really yummy vegan meal inspiration. Thank you for being here and yeah let's just get right on into it. Okay, so if I am completely honest, I really wanted to make savory crepes for this video, but I'm just not very good at making crepes. So for uh, breakfast, I ended up making savory waffles with this batter, and I just used some self-raising flour, baking powder, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar. I added in some soy milk as well as a little bit of oil, and then I whisked this together until it was nice and smooth. Then I used some vegan butter to grease the waffle maker a little bit, and then I added added in my mixture and then I cooked this in the waffle maker until it was nice and crispy on the outside. Whilst it was cooking I cooked some spring onion as well as some fresh spinach and some sun-dried tomatoes in a little bit of oil. I also had some garlic that was in with the sun-dried tomatoes which I decided to add and I fried that up. Then I served that sun-dried tomato spinach mixture on top of my waffle. I added some fresh avocado as well as some snow pea sprouts, of course. And yeah, this was a really yummy, nourishing, filling, hearty start to the day. Look, if you've been around my channel for a while now, you'll know that I can't go a day without iced cacao most of the time. And so I decided to make myself an iced cacao, a post breakfast snack. I started with some soy milk over ice. Then I added in my cacao mixture, which is just cacao, maple syrup, maca powder, and a pinch of salt with some water. And yeah, as always, iced cacao was divine. Chickpea tempeh is one of my favorite things in the world. And so today I decided to make chickpea tempeh tacos for lunch. One of my favorites, one of my staples. I very simply fried the tempeh in a little bit of oil, salt, and garlic powder. Then I decided to make a fresh cucumber guacamole, which I love so much. I just put some avocado into a bowl. Then I also added in some fresh cucumber, of course, for cucumber guacamole. And I also added in spring onion. I love spring onion so very much. I squeezed some lime juice on top, added a little pinch of salt, and then I mashed this together until it was was nice and smooth. So with my tacos I fried these in a frying pan before serving so they were nice and hot. I put my cucumber guacamole on first followed by some fresh cos lettuce which I had just chopped up roughly. I added my chickpea tempeh which had been fried and then on top I just put some coconut yogurt. So a very very simple lunch super nourishing again super delicious made me feel really full and honestly it just tasted really good which is exactly what i want from my food yellow nectarines are in season here in australia and they are my favorite fruit of all time so when i got hungry in the afternoon i decided to make myself a little bit of a snack and then i put some coconut yogurt on top Super refreshing, made me feel really good, and of course, tasted amazing. For dinner, I decided to make some cannelloni with a cheesy spinach filling, and for the filling, I used some soaked cashews as well as lime juice. Then I added in some nutritional yeast as well as a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper and a pinch of garlic powder and a pinch of onion powder. Then I also added in some fresh spinach, put the lid to my Vitamix on and I blended it all together. Keeping in mind, this will take a little while to blend together. I would also recommend putting the spinach in first. That's what I would do next time personally. Then to cook, I just got a baking tray and I put some diced tomatoes in the bottom. You could make your own tomato sauce if you wanted or you could get a store-bought one diced tomatoes was personally enough for me and then I got five tubes of the cannelloni pasta I put the filling in the middle and put these into my baking tray with the tomatoes I then put more tomatoes on top uh, made sure that it was covered nice and well and then I baked this in the oven for I think it was about half an hour 
For serving, I decided to serve it with some cos lettuce as well as some fresh cucumber. I then placed my cooked cannelloni on top. And of course, I added snow pea sprouts as I do on nearly everything. This was really yummy and it made me feel really good. I love cannelloni because it's packed full of flavor. You can do so many different things with it. And of course, it tastes amazing. Okay, and that was everything that I ate in a day as a vegan at home. I really hope you enjoyed today video if you do try any of the recipes make sure to tag me on instagram so that i can see your creations as always thank you so much for being here and for supporting me and my youtube channel i really appreciate it so very much i hope you have a beautiful day and i will see you very soon with another video bye <laughs>